Hello again. Let's take a look at some solutions. For our first one, 50 underscore 1, our task is to make a calculate cost function. This function takes in the price and a defaulted tax rate. Now here you see I defaulted at 0825, which is quite a bit of time ago in California. Then I return the price times 1 plus the tax. And that gives us the whole cost. Uh, and there's another algorithm you could do, it doesn't matter. In my main, I'm going to test it. I'm going to make this chart to put by the cash register that shows the price, what the total cost is at the default tax rate, and what it is when we bump it up to 0 0.0925. So this is my header. And here I am printing that header. Here's a for loop. The price is going to go from 50 to 1,000 by 50s. But the first thing we do is divide it by 100. So we're doing 50 cents to $10. We're going to print out what those dollars are in a 5.2 format. And then there's that line that lines up. And then we're going to calculate the cost without putting in a different tax rate. Therefore, we get the 0825. And we do that one at 6.2 in case it bumps up because tax can do that to you. And we do it again where this time we're going to use 0925, but we're using the keyworded argument so that these things are out of place. And again, we do that at 6.2. Okay, that's that one. Our second one is significant. We're going to make a do breakfast function. Now it has a pile of defaulted arguments that are the standard American breakfast. And then we print out each of the arguments as if we were the waitress bringing the food. Notice here that we have the separator of a new line. That means we're going to get a new line wherever we have these here where we have a comma. However, here we don't have anything. There is just white space between these two strings, so they get slammed together in a concatenation. But this one will give us a new line. Okay, so to test it. We call do breakfast with nothing, and we'll see that we get the default breakfast coming out. Here I'm using positional arguments, where instead of bacon, we'll have ham. And instead of over easy eggs, we're going to get basted eggs with cottage cheese, cinnamon, toast, and orange juice. We're going to do the third one, and we're going to have one positional argument, which is the sausage that we'll have for the meat. And the next two arguments are keyworded arguments, so they find themselves in the right spots. And we see from the output that it all works like a charm. Very nice, Python, thank you. Okay, that's it for this lab. We'll see you in the next.